Even as far back as high school, Shamika Hoseclaw was a winner. After winning four straight state championships with her high school teammates, she won three national titles at the University of Tennessee. She went on to play for the WNBA in spite of the fact that she carried a debilitating secret. She suffered from clinical depression. She writes about her struggles in her new book, Breaking Through, Beating the Odds Shot After Shot. Shamika stopped by to talk about her ordeal. But before we got into it, I asked her how she felt about the retirement of her college coach, mentor, and dear friend, Pat Summit. It's rare that you find coaches that stay at one program 39 years. I mean, she was she got the job at 21 years old. That's unheard of. And she's just built an amazing legacy. You know, everyone's gone through that program. 161 young ladies who have graduated with degrees and gone on to be productive women in society. She was a critical player, for, a person in your life. Right. But really the person who played a huge role for you was your grandmother. Yes. And you talk about her in the book and you mm -hmm. talk about mm -hmm. losing her and going on this path that really mm -hmm. uh, led to depression and just mm -hmm. change your life. Yes. I mean, in our community, there's a lot of times that uh, we're raised by our grandparents. And my parents were alcoholics, and we were taken away from them by the government. My grandmother came in with blind faith. Now, she's older. She's supposed to be living her life, right, about to right. retire. She takes me and my brother in. She teaches me discipline, how, structure. How old were you now? Uh, Ten years old. Wow. So it was an adjustment. You know, my mom and dad, they bought me the cool uh, clothes and sneakers. My grandmother was buying me the so-called skips. You know, it was that. <laughs> we had to get adjusted to each other. But it was amazing. I learned so much. I learned values and discipline. And when I lost lost her it was just tough that was the one person in my life that I, I wanted to please you know I just I just wanted to please her and make her happy and it was difficult for you coming in because here you were this all-american player regarded as one of the greatest college basketball players ever now all of a sudden you come into the WNBA mm -hmm. expecting huge mm -hmm. huge things yes. and this changes the course of your career. Oh, everything. I went from my grandmother's protective vibe at the Pat Summits. I'm 21 years old, coming to Washington, D.C. You know, I'm from the, the inner city, so we're not the most educated on this whole process. Here I am, you know, people are throwing money at me, big endorsement deals. My face is all over D.C. billboards. And I felt so alone. Like, who's going to help me? So it was really that, that adjustment. And Coach Summit really stepped in and kind of led the way on that. But when I finally got it together and I finally started figuring out, here goes my grandmother, you know, she passes away. And it was just a, a snowball effect. You know, I was just so lonely. I was really down, but I was great at, I was like a professional masker. You know, I can turn it on. You would know nothing's the matter with me. I was just extremely high, social, wanting to go out and party, have a good time. When I got home, it's the shades were drawn. It was days I couldn't get out of bed, days I would have thoughts of, you know, dry, driving my vehicle into a tree or something or jumping off a building. It was just that imbalance. And when you finally had it diagnosed, mm -hmm. Your reaction? <sighs> Whatever. I don't believe this. <laughs> you don't know me. This is what I, I was like. You don't know me. How, how can you tell me? I was so in you denial. went through all of this sort yes, of stuff. Yes. And then they say this is what this is exactly I, what you have. You have depression. Yeah. You're going. Yeah, right. Yeah, I, I'm not supposed to have depression. I'm, I'm strong. I'm an athlete. I've overcome my environment, my predicament. Um, I'm successful now. Last question. Mm -hmm. Professional teams, mm -hmm. the leagues, do they have strong enough programs to help athletes? deal with this because mm -hmm. they have great rehab programs right. <laughs> to get you back on that field or that court from an injury. Mm -hmm. But do they have strong enough programs mm -hmm. for what is happening mentally with athletes? Uh, we both know the answer. No. No, not at all. Um, the NFL put together the community huddle with uh, Dr. Satcher at, over at Morehouse School of mm -hmm. Medicine. He, he led those to kind of like draw, bring awareness to it. And the NFL did a great job about stepping out there and, and, and being a voice in sports. But it's there. Every team has a sports psychiatrist. But is the player really going to go? No. You can read more of Shamika's story in her book, Breaking Through. The Ford was written by Pat Summit.